Welcome to NAV's online workshop. My name is Jason. Let's get started with our second tutorial. Throughout all of our tutorial videos, we'll be using the newest technology provided by Apple. Today, we have a brand new iPhone 4. Our objective for today is to explain a few features of NAV, such as POIs or points of interest, user favorites, and alternative routes. Now, let's explore our map of Germany for today's demonstration. An active traveler usually needs a place to rest, and we believe that NAV is the proper tool for finding just that. Go to Menu, Find, POI, and choose the appropriate town. In our case, let it be Berlin. Here are all the listed POIs in Berlin, separated by categories. As we're looking for a hotel, let's choose where to sleep, and then select hotels. NAV supports searching by initials. For example, if you know the name of your hotel, type the first two letters of it separated by a space. We input H space K and our destination is easily found. Now, let's move away from POIs to our user favorites orientation segment. On the map, tap a POI or anywhere on the screen for that matter. In the lower bar, tap the Add to Favorites icon. The name of entry and its category are filled with default values. As we are satisfied with that name, tap OK and return to the map view. Often, our customers are driving to their jobs daily. Marking your place of work as a favorite makes navigation simple and efficient. Go to Menu, Find, Address. Nav shows you the history of your searches. In this screen, we'll tap Berlin, and then the street name and house number. Usually, three or four letters of the street name are sufficient to find the desired address. On the map, tap the desired point, and then the Add to Favorites button. This entry is dedicated to work, so why not store it in the Work category? Additionally, if you require it, you can create an unlimited number of own categories and rename them as you wish. Let's customize the name to an understandable one at that. These operations can be performed at any time with a chosen entry of your favorites. You can nav to any of your favorites the same way you would an address or point of interest. Go to Menu, Navigate, Favorites. Then select a category and destination point. For demonstration purposes, let's say you faced a roadblock or traffic jam. NAV can calculate an alternative route if you tell it to do so. We can see the difference on the route preview page. Next, let's stop the navigation and explore more tools to customize your journey. Go to Menu, Settings, Routing Options. A useful feature for travelers might be to avoid tolls. Want to save some money? Select Avoid Tolls option to drive through unpaid roads only. Don't forget to tap OK to save the changes. Another feature that can be changed is how NAV calculates your route. Go to Menu, Settings, Routing Options. Here you can have the fastest time calculated route and your way will be calculated with main lines and autobahns. Routing with the shortest distance as a criterion is also possible and can be helpful. Using NAV in pedestrian mode estimates the time of your journey based upon speed of walking. It ignores one-way streets and gives other benefits which a walking tour participant might find appealing. There's an additional mode NAV supports, one for adventures. Stay tuned for our next workshop to learn more.